Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, aka The Limey, and I just wanted to touch on something because I've been streaming now for a few days and using a bit of my stream deck. And it's just something that I think would just make my life uh, and experience a little bit better. So I thought I'd, I'd share with you guys what it is that I wanted to change. So as far as the stream deck itself, this is roughly how it's set out for me. I've got my go live button. I've got my mute microphone button. I've got my flick from what I hear in my headphones to what the stream hears. I've got a recording button. I've created a full screen button. So this is for full screen gameplay. So for those of you who are um, Destiny 2 fans, obviously with the new Beyond Light expansion coming out, there's a lot more happening. I don't know if I wanna be in the way of letting the people who are watching the stream enjoy that. Uh, I've got my starting screens. I've got me at the bottom of the screen. I've got me in the middle of the screen. We've got our chatting screen. So if we're not actually playing gameplay, we are right here. We can see the chat window and I've got a pause window. Now, when I did my setup video, I said I still haven't completed this. I've still not put my social media, things like that on there. Um, and I've not figured out what's going to go in the box. But the problem with this is obviously as I walk away from the stream, I press the pause button and I also have to meet my microphone. So if you see my microphone icon, and then when I come back, obviously I need to unmute it and do everything in reverse. So what the Elgato Stream Deck does is allows you to make a multi, uh, a multi-function button. So it's called a multi-action switch. So what I thought I would do is make my life a little bit easier and make myself a pause button that automatically mutes my microphone. And then when I come back, I press the pause button, it automatically unmutes my microphone and it puts me back into a, 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 either a, a bottom or a middle gameplay or a full gameplay, okay? So it's really, really simple. It's not sort of something that I sort of talked about on my setup video. It's a really quick and easy thing to do. So I thought I would just give you guys the quick rundown. So the first thing to remember on this is that it's two separate actions. So we need something when we press the button and we need something when we press the button again. So the first time we press the button, it's gonna put us into a pause state, mute the microphone, the second time we do that, it's going to mute the microphone, which will effectively unmute the microphone, and it will move us back into a gameplay state, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is go and find my Streamlabs OBS. I'm gonna go scene, I'm gonna drop that into the window. So this is the only bit that's a little bit different. You create it in the window right here. So again, we're gonna to go to the pause window. Select from the drop down the pause window. Obviously it knows what my um, animated scenes are because OBS or Streamlabs OBS and the Elgato Stream Deck talk to each other. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna jump down to my Wave 3, my Wave Link, which is right here. Obviously it's an Elgato Wave 3. So there's Mute Input and there's all the different ones and the one I want is to Mute Output. So I'm gonna drag that in here and then I'm gonna call that Wave 3 and I want to mute the stream mix, okay? And that will put everything into silence, which is fantastic. So once I've done that on that, I'm then gonna go into action two. I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. So mute output, I'm gonna call that wave three again, change that to stream mix, scoot all the way back up to Streamlabs OBS, find the scene I want, which is going to be a bottom playhead and gameplay bottom head. Now, if I go back and I move this over here, so we can see now, I've not given that a title, so I'll call that pause, okay? And now we can see if I delete, let me move this over to a full screen option, so if I delete that button and just drag pause into its place, just so it's in order. Um, so now if I press the pause button, it should mute my microphone. So the wavelength stream here should go completely silent. 
So all I want to do now is just make sure that everything is working as it should do. Now, when I press the pause button on the Stream Deck, I'm going to meet my microphone. So what I want to do is instead of me talking, I'm just going to pop some music on so you can see the equalizer. There we go. So you can see it's actually dancing, even if I'm not talking. And then what I will do is I'll press the pause button on my Stream Deck. We'll see that fader completely stop and then I'll press it to unpause. And there we have it. So as you can see, the music stopped, everything went quiet, and it was just a pause screen for the stream. This is exactly what I wanted it to do. And that is really as easy as it is to create a multi-function button. There are some videos out there, some people have made some really intense and complicated um, buttons that they do, and um, it's it's really quite simple. But this is really where the Elgato Stream Deck comes in to play. Normally, I'd have to find the pause screen here, go to my mixer, mute my mixer, And then when I return, I'd have to come back and find everything else, okay? So that really is where the Elgato Stream Deck, or any Stream Deck, I guess, comes into play so well. It's one simple push of a button. I press the button, away I go. I can run off, have a quick wee, grab myself a drink, and I'm good to go. Obviously, I've got the quick mute options and things as well. If I don't want everything to go quiet, I can obviously just click on the pause screen um, option right here and that will just let everything go quiet okay so fingers crossed that all worked uh, I can put myself back to what I need to be and guys that really is just a quick and simple video on how to make a multi-action button on an Elgato Stream Deck it really is super super simple a bit of drag and drop just really think about what you do and obviously you've got to remember you need to reverse that action when you go into the, the second option really really simple there's loads of videos out there some people have got some very in-depth and intense almost macro style um configurations that they've programmed so when they press the button it does a b c d e f and g and then when they press it again it completely reverses everything okay i was watching a video the other day where the guy was using his voice changer so it does absolutely everything even gives him a delay so he can hear what is going to be played okay but that's it that's it from me my name is nick aka the limey make sure you check out the channel make sure you come and visit me on twitch i'm streaming there most days and right now with destiny beyond light i'm there from sort of 9 a.m till 3 p.m uk time just really enjoying myself and shooting lots of things okay take care and we'll catch you on the next one